Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District arc episode number three. All right, the previous episode, um, we got more information um, about uh, what is happening in the, in the Entertainment District since it's a place where in the night everything is like, you know, awake while in the morning everything is asleep. The demons are more frequenting this place. And that's why, you know, like uh, Tengen's <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> tengen's three wives um i think one of their name was makio uh suma yeah suma and i don't know the other uh, uh lady's name but they are actually uh infiltrating this place to find out what's going on and they have been missing for quite a few days and tengen wants to find them out and get to know what is actually happening so all the like you know all all our three boys uh, Tanjiro, uh, uh, Zensu, and um, uh, Inosuke, both uh, three of them went out uh, cross dressing to actually infiltrate the different uh, places and different houses and find out what's happening. Um, I feel uh, like you know from the episode we can kind of gather that we we know what what's happened to Makio. I think uh, Makio is in Inosuke's uh, that place and you know it's kind of you know trying to find out what's happening and we get a little scene in the end where we see makio has been like you know caught by someone probably a demon and uh, like and we have been hearing stuff about um suma in tanjiro's place now like i'm guessing we're going to find more about them in this episode and maybe we'll get to know about where the other lady is probably in zenitsu's uh you know how that that place we're, we're not sure but yeah, let's see what happens. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Yoshiwara Edo. Okay, who is this? Oh, this must be the demon. It feels like it. Yep, I think it is the demon. Yeah, the, the hair ornaments as well. It matches the previous episode. Oh, well, you're dead. There you go. Did he, did she eat her or something? Oh my God, she, he ate her. Something happened. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> I loved the previous episode where. <laughs> Zenith is like I'll become the number one courtesan of this place <laughs> because <laughs> Tengen doesn't you know like <laughs> I'll I'll show Tengen what like you know what it means to underestimate me <laughs> oh boy Zenith uh... All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are you? All right. 
Okay, Tokyo Yoshiwara. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, we we saw this guy in the opening. I think so. Okimoto House. Okay, which house is this, and which of the boys are in here? Oh, this is um Inosuke's place. Ogimoto, okay. Oh boy. Well. All right. I think this is Inosuke's place, most probably. Let's see. Okay, Kyogoku. Ogimoto and Kyogoku. <laughs> Hinatsuru, okay. That's the other. <laughs> well, um. Hmm. Oh my god. Someone's crying. Who is that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Sensu. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I don't think she's in there. I think she's somewhere else. Like in in this house but somewhere else maybe. Yeah. Okay, is this the place? No, it's not. It's not. I knew it. It was probably somewhere else. Probably in this house or probably somewhere else. No, it is in this house because the demon said that. Oh no. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god. Ah! Yeah. Oh my god. What is... All right, calm down. <laughs> oh my god. In the scale, we'll be fired. Oh no. Yeah. Did <laughs> oh, this is someone else. Who is this? What happened? Calm down, Zensu.
Oh. Oh my god. Wait, this this girl is here? Wait, wait, wasn't she? Oh, are they like different demons? Or is this someone else? Oh my god. Oh, I don't him. Oh god. Um okay, yeah. Oh this voice. This is um <laughs> Is this Ria Tanak? I think so. I'll check it out later on. Oh no! Oh my god! Wait, I thought this this demon was in um, Inosuke's place. Then who is in Inosuke's place? Is this is that someone else? Like, okay, I think something's going on here. Which <laughs> wow, <laughs> Tanjiro, perfect. <laughs> um there's nothing left. Whoa <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh no, Inosuke. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Inoko. <laughs> Wait. Wait, that's his way of concentrating? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh! Wait, two days before Tanjiro and the infiltrator, Jogoku house. Oh, this is two days before. Of causing people here to hurt. What happened to him? Oh my god. 
Oh, this is that lady who committed suicide. Ah. Unforgetful. Twisted. Yeah, he's not aging. Yata Hime. Oh boy. Well, she's a demon. Oh! Okay, so this lady is in... Oh! Is in Zenitsu's place. So who's the one in Inosuke's place? Oh my god. Ah! Yeah. <coughs> okay, so this girl travels from one place to another, I think. <coughs> yeah! No, wait. Oh my god. Muzan is here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. <coughs> In that you must have no knowledge of Daki, that's her name, okay. <laughs> Set oh? Seven? Oh. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, so wait. Makyu is here? Yep. Wait, wait, he's he's unconscious. Maybe he No, he's he's unconscious, he's not asleep, okay. Wait, who's she talking? Okay, I can see what they're doing. They're kind of like, you know, mixing everything up. We're still unable to say what is happening. Where is Makio? okay that's the end so what i was trying to say is like they're doing this thing where they're mixing everything up and it feels as if at the beginning i thought inosuke's in inosuke's place makio is there and inosuke is also saying that that is makio's room now we do see there's someone who now it can go two ways maybe there are two demons one is warabi hime and another one who is actually in, like you know trapping Makio. But the attack that uh, you know like they were using was you know, this thing, you know, this this cloth thing that they're using <coughs> to trap Makio. And I feel like that is something that Daki has. So that means so that means uh, Daki is the one who is imprisoning Makio. And that would mean that Makio is not in Inosuke's place, but in Zenitsu's place. Or maybe she's actually traveling from one house to another. That might also be it. Like, this is, like, they're kind of confusing us, I can see. I have to check out her uh, voice actress name. Um, I think it's, it's most probably... Obviously, it's Kurapika's voice actor. I can hear that. Okay, let's see this first. Zenko. Inoko Zenko. It's reminding me of those three girls. You know, and... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, great. You're not a man, Zenko. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Christmas arc. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow. I don't think that's her. Oh, it is. Wait. Ah! <laughs> Everyone's here. But <laughs> she has bread in her mouth. <laughs> uh, to be continued, okay. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh. The first things first. I need to check out uh the voice actor's name. Um. Daki's voice actor. Uh. It's obviously Kurapika's voice actor. I know that. And there's like you know a lot of Akambaru Suruga from Monogatari. And okay, let me check. Uh. Daki. A lot of like you know characters she actually <coughs> <coughs> excuse me voice acts um <coughs> okay uh where is it uh, Japanese VM Miyuki oh no it's some it's someone else Miyuki Tawashiro no it is yeah I'm correct uh oh I I, I think I uh, miss yeah I, her name okay I I, I miss I mistook her name. I thought it was Rie Tanaka. Wait, so who is Rie Tanaka? Oh, okay, Rie Tanaka. Okay, I remember. Okay, I, I actually mixed up Rie Tanaka and um, uh, Miyuki Sawashiro, these two person. They have, a, their voice are really kind of similar, a lot similar, you know, like that, like that, like, you know, the mature voice. Um, <coughs> like, uh, Rie Tanaka does obviously, like, you know, uh, uh, what was that? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, he make it from Honkai Impact and you know like a few others as well, which I'm quite familiar with. That's why I mixed both of them up. And <clears throat> Miyuki Sawashiro. Okay, so oh my god, just a sec. Yeah, uh, Kurapika from Hunter Hunter and uh, obviously uh, from Fate Grand Order is uh, Nightingale, I think, isn't it? Uh, yep. Fate Grand Order, Nightingale, uh, Mordred, wow, Artemis, Rama, four characters, I didn't know that. Um, a few other animes as well, uh, for example, uh, Fujiko, Fujiko Mine uh, from Lupin, mm. Jolene, Jolene from Jojo, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uh, connecting the dots now. All right, I actually uh, mixed two voice uh, voice actors. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, uh, <coughs> this is uh, th that uh, that voice actor, the uh, Miyuki Sawashiro. She she does a lot of like you know voice acting, and I, I really like her voice acting. You know, it's just so great, and Daki as well in Demon Slayer. All right, um, anyways, so that was that. Okay, so this episode here, um, we meet the demon. Now, as I was saying, they're kind of doing this whole thing of they're actually trying to, I think, confuse us as to which character is in which place. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we did see a demon um, in Makio's place, you know, kind of uh, <clears throat> tying her up using that cloth, cloth technique. I'm not sure what that is, but using, using the cloth from the kimono or something, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, she's doing that. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Inosuke, Inosuke in his place, he's saying that Makio is here in that room. When he opens the room, there's nothing. But there does seem like there's someone on top in the ceiling. The thing that's kind of like, you know, running away. We don't get to know who that person is who's running away. It might be Makio or it, uh, not Makio, sorry. It might be... Uh, <coughs> Okay, wait a minute. Was her name Daji or Daki? I think it was Daki, wasn't it? Let me check. Let me just double check. I need to... Daki, yes. Um, Daki. Okay, not Daji. Sorry. Um, it might be Daki or it might be someone else. I think it's, it's probably someone else. But the thing that actually makes me feel, uh, like, you know, makes me think it is Daki is the, the thing that we saw, you know, that, that cloth piece that was kind of going away. And Inosuke tried to get it but was unable to and punch the other guy. Uh, that's a technique that the Daki uses. 
so yeah so it it feels like it is zaki but maybe it is not maybe it's some other character now that would mean <clears throat> that would mean that inosuke's place inosuke knows that that place is supposed to be the place where makio is that means makio was uh like you know like a person who has infiltrated in that house so why is um daki you know uh what can i say how how can like how why is daki uh how can like why is daki why has daki captured makio then you know like since daki is supposed to be in uh zenitsu's place so that means is she like moving from one place to another like is she like going around all the three houses that must be it i think so because yeah that that, that would make sense because in in as far as the information goes in tanjiro's place suma was supposed to be there um in inosuke's place makio is supposed to be there and i think in zenitsu's place the other lady is supposed to be there i'm not sure um so in inosuke's place makio is not there i think most probably makio is in or maybe she is in inosuke's place maybe dark daki is the one who's actually uh, transporting from one place to another or maybe it's like two demons there exist two demons who knows so these are the like you know the little mysteries that are going on i feel like and uh you know since they're mixing everything up you know it it we, we are unable to actually pinpoint where the actual characters are like i like this way of you know storytelling it's, it kind of gives us a little suspense and mystery as to <clears throat> you know like and they're mixing up all the <clears throat> scenes together like at one point we're seeing like you know daki kind of uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that was zaki or it was someone else but someone inter interrogating makio and then in the next scene we suddenly see like you know daki is in front of uh zenitsu and then in the next scene we suddenly see like there's someone that inosuke is trying to uh, you know track which might be daki so it's a kind of mixing everything up so it's actually difficult to pinpoint where the actual characters are and what's happening so like this is like an interesting way of storytelling a lot of anime does this and uh, i'm liking why how they're doing this you know so <clears throat> yeah the, the the biggest suspicious thing here that is going on is they did not show us the face of the one who was interrogating um wait a minute makio just a sec okay um let me just i'm i'm, I'm trying to hear that portion again where uh someone was talking with makio i think it's a different character because i feel like uh that that's not daki's voice actress that's some other voice actress i think so there is a big chance of the person who's actually uh you know captured makio to be someone else and not daki so yeah maybe there are two demons we still don't know but i feel like the, the, both the voice actors are different i i went i, I went that to that scene and started try to hear the, her voice again the person who was talking to makio it feels like it's a different voice actor so yeah it wouldn't surprise me if it was like you know if in the end it got revealed that is some other like you know other demon it was not zaki yeah i'm pretty sure that's another character because um <clears throat> daki's voice actor as i said like you know i i've uh, heard a lot of her uh, voice acting and i'm pretty familiar with her voice and the person who was talking to makio it was not uh like you know that that distinct voice miyuki sawashiro who voice acts daki it was not that distinct voice it's it was some other voice and so it, it's a different character i feel like I'm, I'm i'm still not sure but there is a chance of that being a different character uh yeah so okay so let me let, let me try to put things together again now with the um <clears throat> uh with the information which might or might not be correct that daki and the person who captured uh, makio are different characters if they are different characters that means daki is in uh zenitsu's place you know daki is in zenitsu's place while there's this another character who is in um in makio's uh, uh, place which is inosuke's place 
and she has gotten hold of Makio and she's interrogating her. Then it's uh, Inosuke kind of got to that room and was able to track it and you know through the bowl at the ceiling and it started running away. And that's something different that's happening. While in, in the other house, uh, <clears throat> Daki and the whole thing with uh, what's her name? Uh, the whole thing with uh, Zenitsu that was happening. Okay. All right, I think that's what's happening. Yeah, it would make sense. It would make more sense as to how everything's going on, you know? Like, I, I doubt uh, Daki can be in both places at the same time. So, yeah. All right, anyways. Um, so yeah, this, this was done in quite an interesting way. As I said, it's like a mysterious way they did it. Inosuke, as we saw, you know, Inosuke tried to track down Makio but you know was unable to do so because of that guy kind of coming in the way the guy did got get punched after that <laughs> and <clears throat> okay and we see him try to drag that person down but unable to and you know that was that whole thing so i guess makio is in inosuke's place then we shift to zenitsu's place where we meet Daki. Now, obviously, Daki, we can see she's, she's very, um, uh, has a very bad personality. Um, okay, what was her name? Warabihime, I think. That was how they called her, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, <clears throat> Warabihime Oiran. <clears throat> so, she obviously she is the person i guess like you know who brings the most money and that's why I, i'm guessing the owner was so like you know like like kind of begging her saying that oh don't like you know don't um like you know forgive her like i'll, I'll talk to uh the new recruit who came here um don't get so angry the customers are going to come so uh that's obviously that's why you know like as i said like oyas are very much respected and uh since she is like like uh, I'm guessing she's one of the biggest, you know, biggest Oirans. And, and that's why, you know, like, she, everyone's, like, respectfully talking to her. And, yeah. Like, like it's really, like, what can I say? Like, it's, it's really interesting to see that, obviously, that, that was the owner of the place. Like, 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 that much amount of respect that, uh, like, you know, the Oiran gets. Like, even the owner is actually, like, you know, like, lowering their head in front of her saying that like you know forgive that person you know like that's how much of a power and respect that they have i'm, I'm sure of it because you know like i'm, I'm guessing this is obviously like a, I'm, I'm not sure as i said i'm not sure uh, of this whole entertainment district you know like extra information about them but as far as i could understand i feel like this is like you know we can see different houses here and there like and you know and they're like i'm guessing they're like different businesses and just like how a different business do like they kind of clash against each other huh? uh, like there's a competition going on like which house the the people the customers will visit and obviously the house which has the best oiran obviously most people are going to visit there and like you know that will bring the most money and since that means since the oirans are like uh, like you know the, the talents or the, the, the like what do you call them uh, the main people here who the like you know whichever house has the particular oiran who is the best that house earns the most money and that's why i mean we are seeing the the owner kind of like you know bowing, bowing to her and saying that don't get angry and stuff like trying to appease her because if she suddenly says that oh like you know like you're not respecting me enough i'll go to a different house like that then that's it that's the end like you know their like you know like their earnings will go down completely because the 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 customers are not going to the like you know according to the houses but they're going to places where there's a particular oiran so wherever that oiran will be that house will earn the most money so this is like a competition i guess um you know that's why like you know people respect the oiran so much especially even the owners they're like you know completely <clears throat> bowing their heads in front of her <clears throat> again as i said like this is just my guess i might be completely wrong though uh if i'm uh i'm wrong or made any many mistake be sure to correct me down in the comments <clears throat> but yeah anyways um that was that 
Oh, and then we get a little recollection of what happened to the owner's wife. You know, she like you know like a lot of people are well, not people, but a lot of ladies, uh, a lot of uh, <clears throat> Oinans here were like Ashi Ashinuke. I think that's what they called it in the previous episode. I forgot. You know, like uh, not uh, repaying the debts and running away. That thing they're doing that, and like you know, a lot of people are also killing themselves. I think hurt hurting themselves. So the owner's wife came and confronted Warabihime and she is like you know like suspecting something she's like oh like you know like who are you like you have been alive for so long and you are not aging so what are you are you not some kind of a human what are you and obviously Daki got pissed off just grabbed her and just threw her down and everyone thinks like that's like a suicide or something but obviously that's not and then we meet our old friend Muzan you know as always comes in and he like <laughs> talks about some stuff and <clears throat> encourages Daki and says that you're doing a good thing you know like uh, but be careful the uh, Hashiras are strong uh, you yourself are strong and the, the most surprising thing that I heard from here is as he said that Daki killed six six Hashiras no seven wait a minute yeah seven seven Hashiras my god she herself alone disposed of seven hashiras that's ins insane like okay and you know like she gives her a little encouragement and stuff and daki is like oh muzan sama he has graced me with his presence <laughs> and then she's like uh, to, uh, you know zensu he's she's like how dare you touch me with your filthy hands you ugly <laughs> You know, you ugly person. <laughs> like you know, the 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 same. Like you know, like <laughs> like uh, oh my god! Like <laughs> she has her com. Like you know, her superiority complex. My god. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, obviously that's a demon, and you know, like she she's obviously she she will look down upon humans, and yeah. Now, one thing I was quite surprised is that her actually talking nicely with the owner. She, I thought she was going to like, you know, like overreact or something, say that how, like, you know, how dare you talk to me or something like that. But I guess she also needs to keep her, you know, like disguise her, her cover. If it blows, if her covers blows, uh, then like all the Hashias will come for her. And then it'll be a problem and not like, you know, like it'll, it'll be a big problem. So since to keep her cover, she I'm guessing she kind of is trying trying to like you know adapt to that place and uh, like you know at, at least to the owner she is talking nicely. But there is that f intense like you know fearful stare that she's like you know and and that tone of voice which obviously <laughs> the owner is definitely not going to um, like you know question like he's like yeah like forgive us I'll, I'll talk to. Zenko, I think Zenko, that's her. Was that how, what they called him? Zen? Um, anyways, uh, something like that. All right. Um, yeah, and then we see Zenitsu wake up and <laughs> the little girls were like, oh, thank you for helping, all that stuff. And yeah, that was, I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah, Zenko, that's, that's the name he took. <laughs> Inoko and Zenko. Uh, oh, and in the end, I, I, f I completely missed, uh, like, I was going to miss that portion. Um, <coughs> the, 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 the cloth, uh, the cloth or, or the, the strips of cloth, it came and, you know, took him, took Zenitsu. Now, obviously, that's Dak Daki, I'm sure of it. It must be. So yeah, she was saying something about like, oh, she was suspecting Zenitsu to be one of the demon cops. And she, she said that, yeah, obviously she, Zenitsu is not a Hashira, but he is someone who is extraordinarily strong. So, yeah. Now, here's one thing that uh, is actually bothering me in this scene, you know, like where we see uh, Warabihime in her room 
I don't know what she was writing. She was writing a letter of this, I think. Or no, wait, no, that's not a letter. Just a second. No, no, wait a minute. What is that? She actually puts her mouth in a piece of paper. I, I thought that was a letter. But now I think that that's not a letter. Is, is that like a paper to, like, you know, like for the lipstick? I think that's probably something like that. Yeah, it, it must be. Yeah, that's not a letter, right? At, at, at the beginning, I thought it was a letter. She was writing a letter or something. But no, it's something else. It's, it's, it's to, I think, to the thing with, to, you know, for the lipstick. Okay. <clears throat> now, okay, that's the thing that's actually bothering me is that this scene, she says, she looks at the mirror and she says, it took you a bit of time, but you did a good job bringing him in. just keep them coming now either she is talking to someone else in this room or she's talk she's so narcissistic she's talking to herself in the mirror either of this now i don't know which one it is <laughs> so yeah i think it's probably she's talking to herself her, her 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 you know her reflection on the mirror she's just saying that oh you did a good job she was just talking to herself like praising herself like that's if, if that's really the case that's narcissistic my god she's basically praising her own reflection in the mirror <laughs> wow <laughs> either that or or there's something going on maybe there's some other person here who's like you know like in the room with her i did see there are two other little um, girls who are sitting beside her i do wonder like they they're sitting beside her and she she like you know she says that oh you did a good job bringing them in was she talking to the little girls or was she talking to someone else in the room or was she talking to herself in the mirror reflection either of the three and if it's not the first one which is she's not talking to the girls who are sitting does that mean the girls actually know she's a demon and still like you know like helping her out is that what's happening who knows or maybe the girls did not realize what she was trying to say maybe yeah maybe that was it you know like she's, she's talking to herself in the mirror maybe the girls are just sitting there they don't realize she's a demon but yeah all right so that was it that was uh this episode uh, we meet the i'm guessing she is the main antagonist of this arc i'm not sure uh there might be another demon you know, or maybe there there might be someone else who we saw. You know, who who has captured Makio. There might be someone else, or it might be Daki herself. But my guess is that someone else, because the voice doesn't match. The voice that I heard, uh, that person who was talking to um, Makio, that voice and Daki's voice, they don't match. I think. So it, it's most probably someone else. yeah i feel like it's someone else i might be wrong completely you know it, I, it might be my my mistake maybe i'm not unable to you know actually uh you know recognize the voices and like you know connect them who knows but we'll see i'm sure we'll get our answers this is barely the third episode so yeah there's a lot more episodes left where they'll gradually uh, answer our questions so yeah so yeah that was it guys so that was my reaction to episode number three of demon slayer the entertainment district arc so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out but no spoilers so yeah so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer the entertainment district arc so until then goodbye and have a nice day.